In this video, we're going to be looking at the forces that act on a falling object. And in this case, we're going to be looking at a skydiver. We're going to look at the skydiver at different points in their descent. Let's consider the forces that are acting on the skydiver initially. At first, the force of gravity is pulling them down towards the Earth. There's very little air resistance. Because these forces have different sizes, we would be described them as unbalanced. Because the force of gravity acting downwards is larger than the force of air resistance opposing the movement, the diver would be accelerating downwards. As the diver continues to fall, the force of gravity acting upon them will be the same. However, they will start to hit more air particles, and so therefore the air resistance will increase. Again, the forces are unbalanced, as the downward force is still larger than the upward force. Therefore, the diver will continue to accelerate downwards. Eventually, the diver will reach a speed where the force of gravity is equal to the force of air resistance. We would describe these forces as balanced. Because these forces are equal, the diver will continue to fall downwards, however it will do so at a constant speed. We define this constant speed as the terminal velocity. Eventually, the diver will reach a height where they decide to open their parachute. The force of gravity acting upon them will still be the same. However, in this instance, the air resistance will dramatically increase. This is because the large surface area provided by the parachute means that lots of air particles are hit at the same time, increasing this force. We would describe these forces again as unbalanced. So what will happen to the diver? A common misconception is that the diver would start to move upwards. This is not the case. The diver was falling towards the ground, but because the force up is larger than the force down, the speed of the diver will start to decelerate. They will continue to move downwards. Again, the force of gravity on the diver remains unchanged. However, because they're starting to decelerate, they will move slower and slower. This will decrease the amount of air particles that the parachute hits and this will decrease, therefore, the force of air resistance. The diver will slow down until eventually the force of air resistance matches the force of gravity, and again those forces are balanced. At this point, the diver will reach a constant speed, and this will be a new, slower terminal velocity. This will allow the diver to safely land onto the ground.